have yourself to blame. Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Whoa. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. We're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lo uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So fun. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! Uh, I knew we were having visitors! What is that little spring clean? Ortega has been cooled us! This ain't done until they're all gone! We gotta do something! They're through the gates! Where you gonna go? Look out! On the left side! They gotta have the whole crew here! You go! 
gonna need this personal. Woo! I'm starting to think they really wanna kill me. They're around the back of the building. This way. Don't be crazy, T. Get in cover. I'm entertaining. Get over here! Nowhere to escape now. Here, take the 40 mil. There's another car over there! I expect us to die out! You should have been more persuasive when you told him to go! I think they're coming through the shop! Let's get to the front! Yep! Yeah. Come on, hurry up! Let's get down! Stairs! Tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Oh. I think we have seen quite enough. Guys, uh, uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Trevor! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage? This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin! Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Uh. Now, Ron. Shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? 
The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-powered scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Am you That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. There's the necessary magnification. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. down in the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. See me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. Come on! Keep it moving! Shot the lights so you can calm down. Good. Well, uh, don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out, okay? Fire! We gotta 
Again, there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building. He's come out! Good kill, Trevor! I'm not fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. I think someone's coming. Shit. This is it. He clocked me. He's coming over here. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper, incoming. I've always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might they? They might.
Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth.
I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know. I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds, they're not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah. They need guns, bro. So many guns. But luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, it's gonna be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export story. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great.
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la! Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> uh, this music's all fucking wrong! That's what I'm looking for! I'll pack to call my own on this godforsaken earth! I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you and I'll torch your cookhouse.
Trevor Phillips, man. Fuck. Well, it's over. Hey, back to your fucking trailer. You get out this property. Fucking O'Neills. Get that motherfucker out the house. You're mine. You assholes! Yeah, fuck you, dealer man. Oh, yeah. Get your own fucking business. You got fucking it. weirdo. Get gone. Oof. You're an arm now. now. How about a murder, you prick? Coming for you. Keep him out of the lab. Look like a larger operation to me. Hey, fuck you! Go home! Come on! Ah! Hey, come on! He ain't taking our crap! Don't mess with me! Hey, You're gonna die in this cookhouse! Trevor Phillips, man! It's over! Hey, back to your fucking trailer! Disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Wait till dark before I drop in again. That hurt my neck!
come here to fuck with me? You'll fucking die here! Come on! Time to hit the road, Wadey. Los Santos, here we come. Got go, okay? I heard about the banging. Screaming. But then not knock the guy's kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off. Must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead. Who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, well, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away! I heard my you not fucking see me! Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade! Let's play a game, then! You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or a hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aww. I thought we were going to go Santos to keep the Damn it. Boat. Freak the oh. shit out of. Ugh. Bulls. That's it, I'm calling the old bell. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh, get you get, get you get. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, oh, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Here, what are you doing? 
Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accent like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. M Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? Woo-hoo! Again! Again! And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh! Oh! We're near Floyd Taps. I've seen it on the iPhone map. I'll give you directions. It's straight here. Just keep on a minute. This one's a riot. Come in! Now keep going. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. Ah. 